Thank you. Well, I appreciate our effort. Um, I think this was a total team win. I think across the board, um, we we played well. I think we played hard. It was a intentionality to how we played, and as a result, I think um, we put ourselves in a good position to, to have an opportunity to win. Coach, one of the numbers that jump out on the board is you held Connecticut under forty percent shooting. Talk to us about the defensive effort of holding them out and going up against them like that. Yeah, I mean um, that 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 was a actually it wasn't a huge focus focus of ours. We wanted to be able to stay in place. We wanted to be able to stay in place with them um, and make everything tough. And I think that's what we did. Like we didn't come in saying we need to hold them here here. We came in thinking saying that we just need to make things tough. And if we can execute um, defensively um, with their sets and stuff like that, then we'll have a, a good opportunity. And uh, Tina playing like you did in the, in the in the paint, 17 points a day. Talk about what your mentality was going into the night and it being aggressive inside. End of your your, your question. Thanks. Alicia, 17. Whatever. Um, just trying to be as aggressive as possible. Um, you know, Tanisha gives me a lot of confidence, uh, just coached me in a certain way that she knows what I'm still capable of. Um, just going out there, being aggressive. I, I know I draw a lot of attention. So even if I don't get the ball, I know someone else will be open. And they double, just passing it back out. But for me, just trying to be as aggressive as, as possible to create opportunities um, for my teammates around me. Thank you. Great win. Go ahead. Yeah. Hey, Coach. Hey, Leash. Hey, TC. Um, this question is for Alicia. Um, you were super aggressive tonight. We've talked about this before. You know, you drumming up your defense and your offense came with it. What did you see out there tonight that made the hoop seem so big? Uh, just being able to read screens the correct way. Uh, it was a point of emphasis in practice, and Coach T helped me a lot on that. Just being able to slow down and take my time because I get antsy a lot. So. When I slow down and take my time, I'm able to see the floor a lot better. So T was able to help me with that a lot. And just a quick follow-up for Coach. Um, obviously, you guys had a very, very big third and fourth quarter. Um, one of the things you stressed was ball movement. I noticed the assists were way up tonight. Can you talk about what you liked that you saw um, in that department? Yeah, I mean, our assists were, were right on average, I think, right? Or do we have a couple more? Yeah, we had 18, I think, which is what, what we average right now. Um, but I thought what we what we did really well was we, we played inside, outside. So there wasn't a real um, tick for tick for how we played, right? So there, there wasn't a great feel to hone in on only one thing. So we played inside. When we didn't have it inside, we played outside. Um, you know, Jordan did a Jordan did a phenomenal job of running us down the stretch, um, getting us some easy looks and different things like that. And then um, the players just made plays at the end of the day like that. That's what this this league is about. Players being able to make plays. And I think they did that down the stretch. Everybody. Go ahead. Please. First of all, congratulations. Great win, y'all. So um, this this question is really for Coach or Alicia. Um, Tina, through this stretch, has been consistently showing up and giving her leadership and really just walking the walk, talking the talk. So, Coach, how does it feel to have, like, that type of leadership, and what does that do for your team? Yeah, I mean, it's needed, especially during this stretch. Um, I just sent her a text the other day just in terms of her leadership and what she's doing right now. She has to keep it up. Even in the midst of frustration, we have to be the same and show up the same way every single day. And I think the one thing that she has always done throughout her career is show up on the court. Nobody can ever question um, if she shows up and gives her all when we step on out step out on that court. And I think for some of our young kids and even for some of our older kids who want to get to the, the the pinnacle that she has gotten to, it's a great example to to watch. Somebody who shows up every single day, you don't have to worry about whether or not they're going to perform every single night. Go ahead, Shayna. Congrats on the win tonight. My question is for Gray or Charles. Over the last six seasons, Connecticut has won 80% of their home games, and you all just handed them their second loss at home this season. Can you talk about what it was like playing in that environment and the teamwork and mindset that it took? Um, I mean, I always think this, this arena has a great size for, um, you know, the WNBA. You get the UConn um, followers as, as well. Um, 
that that just speaks to them just I think where they are is where we want to be. You know, they, they started with a young group. Um, they stayed together over the years. Um, and, and that's exactly what, what we want to do. I'm, I'm, I'm happy we were able to rain on their parade and come out with, with the win. But we were just, you know, locked in on ourselves and what we have to do. You know, Tanisha, she always says that we don't focus on what we don't have, but who we do have and what we do have is who we do have is more than enough. And, and we just bought into that. Um, but definitely what they've been able to do over the last six years, um, God willing, you'll, you'll see this organization be able to do the same thing. And we'll finish up with a manual. manual. Go ahead. I want to finish with this, Coach. Uh, thoughts on Maya tonight. Put up nine points, play some great minutes for the team. Talk about her play tonight, uh, joining the team. Yeah, my, Maya's done a tremendous – Maya's a pro. That, that, I think that is – the best compliment that I can give her is that every single time we we call Maya, she comes and she's ready to go. Um, and so, you know, as a coach, like that, that's a dream to be able to to be able to do is to call on somebody who um, hasn't hasn't been playing um, on a team per se. I'm sure Maya's been working out because she's a pro, um, and they they be ready to answer the call. And Maya's done that um, for us for the last couple of years, and we're appreciative of that. Thank you. Thank you, John. Thank you, guys.